What up nerds? In this video, I want to cover inheritance inside of Godot. I will touch on uh, GDScript, C Sharp, and even scene inheritance. Now, this can be useful if you want to reuse some code or reuse a scene setup. Uh, and it's actually a pretty easy concept to understand. Now, if this video does help you and you want to support the channel, you can like and subscribe as well as check the description below for some links to support the channel in other ways. You can check out my Steam page as well. All right, and with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started on this. So all inheritance really means is you have a parent-child relationship, and whatever the parent has, the child will have. So we can go ahead and create a quick script here. We can call this parent.gd, make an inherit from node, that's fine. And then what we wanna do is go ahead and make this really easy, give it a simple class name of parent, and then we'll go ahead and create another script and this can be child and this is going to inherit from parent and it's really the only reason i gave the class name for this purpose is just so it can easily inherit it from this little dialogue all right and now let's go ahead and set up the parent here so i'm going to create a variable and we can just call it uh, speed it's a common enough one and then when we go into the child what we can do is print the speed and as you'll see the IntelliSense will pop up and show that I have access to that because it inherits it from the parent now if we go over here and just create any old node when we say put the child script on it what we can do here is also export it nope i'm gonna need to give it a, a data type and we can inherit it and it tells you that it's being inherited from the parent right here now in the case of GDScript, the class, well, the script doesn't have to have a class name. You can also inherit from the file path. So what we can do here is exit that. We'll uh, get out of that, and we can do parent.gd. And this will work as well because it's in the same directory. So it's going to be relative to where the file actually is. Now, if I save this scene so we can run it, you can see down here it's at zero. But if we give a nice default, And it prints what we expect. Now, what we can also do is create a function and we can just call it something. And then this can print uh, called from the parent. And then in the child, inside of ready, we can just call do thing so it's going to call that the the parents uh version because we have not overridden it so all we have to do to override it is give it the exact same signature and we can say uh, called from the child now when we do this it'll call that implementation because we overrode that behavior now if you still want to actually call the parents implementation and gdscript what you need to do is call super 
and then this will call the parent's implementation call from the parent called from child and to be completely honest that's all inheritance really is you have a parent-child relationship and the child has access to the things that the parent uh, has already defined now in other languages, uh, stuff like C Sharp or C++, Java, they do have what are called access modifiers. So you can actually change the, well, you can actually set the specificity of what the child actually does have access to. So let's go ahead and get that set up. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and create another script except this time it's going to be in c-sharp and we're going to call this parent cs and then we're going to go ahead and create another one and this one can be child cs all right and now what we can do is go ahead and open the parent and this right here is the access modifier what what you see at the start the public you can also you'll also see protected you'll also see private and sometimes you'll even see internal in the case of c sharp uh, public means anything outside of the class will have access to it Protected means only this class and its children have access to it. And private means only this class has access to it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is create a whole new method. We're going to call this uh, protected. Then we can do void do thing. And then let's go ahead and do gd.print. And this will be doing the thing and add our semicolon. All right, so now I'm going to create a private one. Do thing private gd.print private do the thing. All right, now I'm, I am doing this all in the Godot editor. So that's why I'm not getting any IntelliSense, but if you use something like VS Code, Visual Studio, or JetBrains Writer, you'll have autocomplete and everything. Now, in, in the child class, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that because we don't need it, and then I'm going to do the things inside of ready. So let's go ahead and so let's see private uh, we'll do thing. So we can just call do thing and then we'll take that off, add the child. And now what we want to do is go ahead and press play. It'll build. All right, so I did end up having to cancel that because it was taking a bit too long to build, and I'm fine with that because I did actually forget to change the class that I actually inherited from. So now if I build, we can see doing the thing. All right, so now if we try and call do the thing private, it won't let us. So do the thing private and then we're going to run it but it won't build because it doesn't actually exist in in the child class because it is private but do the do thing is protected and of course if something was public i'd be able to do this now if i wanted to override something like do thing the method actually needs to be a virtual method and then in the child so let's go ahead and get rid of this we need to do the same signature but instead of 
virtual, what we need is override. So we override it, void, do thing. And then we can just do GD print from the child. And now when we run it from the child and in C sharp, if we want to call the parents implementation, what we do is base dot do thing. Doing the thing and from the child. And that is pretty much all inheritances for both Godot and C sharp. In C sharp, your parent class is this first one right after the 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 colon and in gd script you it's from the extends keyword all right now last but not least i'm going to go ahead and go over scene inheritance so all scene inheritances let me go ahead and just add a couple things here so then I'm going to save this parent scene. So all I'm going to do here is create a new scene. So new inherited scene, parent scene. And you'll see that I have these two nodes already in here for me. So if I go ahead and save, I'll just name this child scene. What I can now do is build on top of that. Like say maybe I want to throw in a camera, uh, wh whatever it may be. And let's say the parent, uh, if I add in say, let's just add a sprite, right? I can add a sprite, save that, and then it automatically gets added for me. So anything that affects the parent will trickle down to the child. Now, in Godot, sometimes scene inheritance can be a little funky. So you might have to actually restart the editor. Or you may just need to come come up here into scene. And uh, you can open the scene again. You can reload the save scene to try and trigger to Godot to actually refresh uh, that child scene. So we really touched on inheritance in GD script, C sharp, and using scene inheritance. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Later, nerds.